Greetings. Today we're going to look at one of the many features of uh, the Siglent SDS2000X family of oscilloscopes, and that is a uh, it's called sequence. It's found on some of our other scopes, but some people are not familiar with that uh, function. It can be very powerful, and uh, we'll take a look at it. It's, it's particularly powerful when used in looking at uh, recording transients or things that are separated by a long period of time. Um, that's w w actually one of the many features it has with it. Uh, well, let me just say in advance, when we use it, you'll see that the trace will be blanked. And the reason for that is because in the sequence mode, the trace is intentionally blanked and uh, what we achieve, one of the things we achieve by doing that <clears throat> is to speed up the uh, trigger rate or uh, lower the dead time. So when it's in the sequence mode, it can rec uh, record up to 500,000 samples or, or sequences rather, screens if you will, uh, acquisitions per second. The normal top speed is 140,000 uh, triggers per second, but in the sequence mode, it's 500,000. So we've got a nice calibrated uh, transient generator here. Some people call it a fluorescent lamp, so we can use that term. <clears throat> and you'll see our highly uh, specialized, accurate uh, test antenna, otherwise known as a little uh, whip antenna. And that puts out enough noise that uh, uh, probably capacitively coupled to the antenna that when I turn the end, the light on, you'll see I get uh, something along those lines. And every time I turn the light on, I get a little different uh, uh, transient there. So, well, let's do this first. Say, say we wanted to capture uh, a number of those. Maybe they were uh, separated by seconds or minutes or even hours. Using the sequence record mode, we're going to record uh, one uh, frame every time it sees a trigger event up to 80,000 times. So let's go to that mode, and what we'll do is we'll let, let's blank this just just for the moment. Make start over. We'll choose the acquire menu, and here you'll see the sequence button. We want to turn the sequence acquire mode on. Now the next choice here in our menu is the number of segments we want. We can choose uh, oh, as low as, as low as one, or up to uh, many segments there. But just to keep things simple here, let's choose 10. And you'll notice it does say waiting for trigger. So it's until it sees the trigger uh, here, it will not uh, it will not trigger the scope. And there's our first one I just did. I'll wait several seconds and do another one. And maybe, uh, oh, there's three more in, in a faster uh, uh, sequence here. So you can see I captured five. If we went all the way to 10, we would start over. So let's, let's say we wanted to play those back now. So I'm gonna hit the history mode We'll look down here in history, it says frame number five of five. So sure enough, we did capture five uh, uh, frames there. I can scroll through those manually. You'll see each one looks a little different. The first one often looks <laughs> the worst. But uh, you also notice there's a little glitch that starts off there uh, in the beginning of each one. So let's let's use that. By the way, it does have a list function. So that first uh, first one we waited uh, what waited about three seconds. There's delta time of about three seconds 
then about two seconds and uh, under one second on the rest. So it gives me the acquisition time, the delta T between triggers, etc. So I'll turn the list off. I, as you saw, you can do this, uh, step through these manually, or I can set my interval between frames here for playback and simply step through those. So now I'm stepping through all five, roughly uh, one second, just under one second, I guess, per frame. We can do it that way also. Okay, now say that we wanted to regenerate that signal. So let's say that's a perfect example of what this uh, unknown transient is, and we'd like to be able to simulate that in our lab, etc. So let's do this. Let's plug in a flash drive here. You saw that it did recognize that drive. Let's choose the Save Recall menu. We're going to choose Save. Now we've got various types here. We've got uh, setups, MATLAB, bitmap, binary, and so forth. So we're going to use a CSV file. We don't care about saving the scope setup, the parameters, or the screen, any of that. We'll say Press to Save. And we can rename our file. Right now it's SDS00005 with the CSV type on there. And we'll just use that. So we'll say uh, press to save. Now that's going to convert that to a CSV format. And the file should be about uh, 3 meg in size. And you can see it's saving it to the uh, flash drive there. And now we're finished. Store data success. We'll unplug the flash drive and we'll jump over here to our generator where we'll simply, you guessed it, plug that into the port of that generator where it is recognized. Now you want to upload that data. So let's choose uh, Recall, Store Recall. And that is in our USB device. So we want to go up to that. We want to browse, see what's there. And we had, it was number five, I believe, which is there, sure enough. So we'll recall that. And it says Converting. So there it is stored into our generator. I'll unplug that just uh, so you can see better. You'll see the, the waveform looks similar to what we had before. So let's go back now to the scope and prove to us all that we really did. Uh, let's let's uh, turn on channel 2 here. I've got to get out of the the uh, uh, sequence mode so I'm going to turn that off and I want to trigger on channel 2 so let's do that here and we've got to adjust our amplitude a bit and you'll see there is let me, let me turn off uh, channel 1 you'll see there is a waveform sure enough there's our little glitch we started out with and if we just wanted one of these, uh, we could do that by using the burst mode on the generator. And right now it's just repeating that over and over. Uh, but we, we, can, we can change that if we want. So that is an example of just a, a, a small idea of what the, the sequence mode in, in the uh, history history function can give you. Again, I could get up to 80,000 uh, frames that same way. I've got it set on low memory right now, so uh, so the dots are, real, are not real close together. As you'll see, I've got set 280K in the memory, but it goes to 140 mag, so I could do that also. I didn't want to wait for it to uh, upload and download that data.